What's happening guys, Josh from EverydayFBA.com and your boy just got access to Inventory Labs Chrome Extension Scout X. This is a Chrome extension that is in beta testing right now and I was selected to be one of those beta testers. So super, super awesome that I get a first look at it, which means that you get a first look at it. So in today's video, we're gonna look at what this Chrome extension can do for you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. If you're brand new here, please subscribe, check out all the other videos because there's plenty of information here on this channel that's gonna help you get money on Amazon. This is Inventory Lab, and Inventory Lab is a software used by thousands upon thousands of Amazon sellers. It just does a lot for your business. I've been using it personally myself for five years. I got it three months in to my Amazon business, and it's because you can do a lot with it, like research, you can list, it takes care of all of your accounting, all of your numbers. You can accurately track your inventory and it spits out tons of reports that you're going to need to file taxes or that you can hand off to your CPA, right? It's because of all of these reasons that lots of Amazon sellers use it. And I'll be honest with you here. The reports, awesome. Inventory, awesome. Accounting, awesome. Listing, awesome. So much easier than doing it in Seller Central. The part that's always been lacking is their research part. So Inventory Lab does have a couple of ways for you to do product research, but personally, guys, I have never thought research when I think of Inventory Lab. Inventory Lab for me handles all of my accounting, all of my reports, and helps me list and ship pretty, pretty efficiently. I've never really done a lot of research with it, but they do have a couple of apps to use. You can use the web app under the research tab, Scout, and you can put any ASIN or UPC right in here and search, and it's gonna give you a lot of great information back on that product. They also have a mobile app, which you can use if you're going out there and doing retail arbitrage. It shows you a lot of the same information and will help you just make better buying decisions. Now, both of these have been around for a while now. I have used the mobile app doing a little retail arbitrage, but as I moved into more and more online arbitrage, these two tools really aren't useful for that. I really wanted Inventory Lab to take this screen right here and put it onto the Amazon product pages. And that's kind of what they're trying to do. So let's check out what they're working on so far. I've got the Chrome extension downloaded and activated and let's just see how it appears. This is just the search results and you can see the information that it gives you here at a glance as you're going through the search results. You get the ASIN, you get to know the rank right in toys and games and then the subcategories. If there's any variations, how many sellers there are and whether or not uh, there's a buy box and who's holding that buy box. In this case, you can see it is Amazon. If we click on 30, I'm not sure what happens. It might take us to that product listing page. Yep, awesome, there it is. And it's pulling up all those offers for us. So that's how it appears on the search results. And now you can see how it appears on a different type of results. We're looking at a seller's storefront now, and this is how it shows up. Again, you get the same information. It just shows up in a slightly different way other than this small box underneath the image. You now have it on top if you're searching in the seller storefront. So that's some really nice information at a glance. Keep in mind that, you know, Scout X is still in beta mode, so they are gonna be evolving this as time goes. And you might see some more information pop up here. Uh, what I would like to see is probably the net of the product, right? The buy box minus all fees. I wanna see that net so I can get an idea whether or not I could find this product and turn some profit on it. I would also like to see maybe a Google button so I can just click it and you know instantly take me over to Google search results to see if, again, if I can find that product anywhere. These two additions I think would be helpful for online arbitrage sellers like myself. Let's now look into the product listing page and look at more information that it gives you because this is just what shows up on the search results page. Once you get into the product listings, you get some more information. All right, guys, here is Scout X Chrome extension on the Amazon product listing page and all the information that it gives you. You get to see the ASIN, the mentions, the weight, the UPC, the sizing tier, and then it moves into the buy box, the pricing, and the offers. We can see the current buy box. We get to see who else is competing for the buy box. So right here, this is your true competition. People that are priced within 3% of that current buy box. You get to see whether or not Amazon's on the listing, the lowest merchant fulfilled price and the lowest FBA price. Moving down here, you're gonna get your profit calculation, right? So the list price, it's gonna go off that current buy box, $16.99, and then we can put on our buy cost right here. What's really nice about Scout X or just really Inventory Lab is they have these targets. They do the same thing on their mobile app where they give you an estimate of $6.55. That is your buy cost. If it was any more than that, then you would not be making your base minimum profit in your base minimum ROI, which it actually already has over here in the settings. And we'll take a look here in just a second. But let's say we actually had to pay $6.55 for this product. What kind of profit would we make? 
we make a dollar 96 cents in profit i'm not going to look at merchant fulfilled because i don't have that set up currently so that is inflated it's not taking out the actual shipping price that you would have to do but it calculates your profit your roi and your margin and it's definitely what you want to do here on the amazon listing page because it just makes it so much easier versus having to go back and forth and copy and pasting and doing all that nonsense let's go into this bottom section because there's still more to look at i like this right here a lot the rank and the way it's set up it's so clear and so easy to read and understand you can get a really good idea of what's happening to a product over time by looking at the 30 the 90 and the 180 day ranks you can even get more information by clicking on this little drop down tab and it's going to break down some more averages it even tells you the out of stock rate for amazon so that's pretty awesome as well next it shows you the graph so this is essentially a keep a light graph i've got mine set at a month and again it's just keep a like it gives you that new price it shows you that sales rank charted in terms of dips so if you're familiar with keepa you're used to looking at keepa this will help you out right there the next tab is the offers tab we can click on that and it's going to break down those offers for us we got fba offers 23 new four merchant fulfilled offers total of 27 offers right here and if we click on this it's just going to open uh, all of those offers here right on the side so we can look at them a little bit deeper this section is okay it's not really all that helpful what i would like to see here in terms of offers i think i want to see it laid out just like this i want to see those offers and i want to see you know what that pricing is on that product i really like this if they could take this and put that down here in the offers place that would be awesome so the last tab here is the reviews tab and if you click on that it's going to show you all the ratings for that product now i had thought that this might be helpful for variations but I don't see how it's really helpful because it doesn't break down any of that information. But I got curious. This product doesn't have any variations. Let me go look at a product with variations. So I did that. We got this Barbie doll right here. And again, here's all the ratings for it. Doesn't really help you with variations. But look at this. This section right here we didn't get to yet. But there's this button that didn't appear on the other page because this one is the variation button. You can also see right down here, there's variations right here. Let's click on this and see what happens. Uh, again, guys, you're looking at this for the first time with me. Oh, they're going to make it bigger, too. So this is really some good information here. Look, Popstar Doll, 148 reviews. The Chef has 77, and the Vet has 60. So clearly, the Popstar Doll is the one you would want to sell because it sells the fastest, man. That is pretty awesome. Again, really clear, concise information at a glance with that variations this is something again that i haven't seen another tool really do very well is the variations and really breaking down those reviews just like that man that's pretty awesome besides the variations button you also have buttons for book scouter for selling used books you got an ebay button you got the google button which will search that uh, title of the amazon product on google to see if it can find a source for you you also have the camel 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 button which i'm not sure nobody uses camel 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 anymore but you do have the option to input custom links so you can put keep it here right beside camel 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 that's pretty much what they got going on right now i mean overall this is a great addition to inventory lab uh, software suite right so you got that web app you can already list and ship and monitor all your inventory and your accounting and now you get this on page product viewer which is just really awesome that they finally came around to doing something like this it's got a lot of really great information here on the uh, product listing page there's a few tweaks that would make it a little bit more helpful to sellers like myself but i ain't really complaining because this variation part is a home run and then the rank part i think in my mind is just a home run in terms of showing you real clear concise information overall this is just a great addition to the inventory lab suite so if you already have inventory lab or if you're thinking about giving inventory lab just know you're going to get scout x once it releases the, the full version out to the public and it's going to save you a little bit of money because you're not going to have to go and get that third party profit calculator you don't have to go and get rev seller or seller app although those two chrome extensions are amazing if scout x is already coming with your inventory lab subscription and you can do the research the listing the accounting the inventory the reports do all of that in one solution and save a little money at the same time why wouldn't you do that all right people throw me a like on this video for this first look at inventory lab scout x chrome extension super excited to how this will evolve and become even better for all amazon sellers if you're new to amazon and selling on amazon check out the links in the description for helpful free resources and access to great information right my name is josh everydayfba.com is the website and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace